Hello, and welcome back to Markenstein Coin Lab, where today we're giving the reason why we're upgrading from Windows 7 to Ubuntu. The other options would have been Windows 10 or Windows 11, or other versions of Linux would be uh, good, but I like the Ubuntu version. Um, see, so I've got this message that started showing up in my Brave browser that said, to get future Brave updates, you need Windows 10 or later. This computer is using Windows 7, and then you can put a check mark there, and it will say, you know, don't show again, and you can exit out, and it'll go away. But, uh, and then I, I clicked on Learn More, and this page came up, and I read about sunsetting the, uh, Brave is sunsetting the support for Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1, and as of January 10th, 2023, Brave will no longer offer support on these machines running Windows 7. Um, uh, the... I use I also use other browsers like Google Chrome and Firefox and stuff. At this point, Firefox as of version 1101 there will still work with Windows 7 and later. So you can do that. Although unless you install an ad blocker, do you get the uh, the ad blocking that you get with Brave? Um and I mean this is Windows 7 support ended on January 14th, 2020 according to the uh, Microsoft website here but what I you know you can keep using it and as long as the browsers uh, worked it, it was okay you could keep doing stuff but say you want to go look for a home or, or an apartment you want to look at uh, the, the the videos and stuff or the pictures and stuff of that they'll after a while I don't know maybe six months a year they don't work as well anymore you'll start seeing lag you'll start seeing um, things not pop up like the pictures or the videos or stuff like that and this will go across you know different things um, I had a similar experience with Windows XP and uh, it, it it went for a while after uh, after they stopped supporting XP uh, you could go for I don't know about six months or a year but then yeah it, it just starts getting glitchy it starts getting laggy and um, so I decided to move on and get something that I could keep upgrading without uh, too much problem and I found uh, Linux uh, in their different versions uh, usually upgrade uh, uh, for, uh, work pretty easily to the next version and, um, and you don't have to keep going from Windows 7 to 8 to 10 to 11 and having to keep re redoing each time so and yeah there you're supposed to upgrade but I have seen some people be able to successfully upgrade good and I've seen some people where it messes up a lot of stuff so uh, I, I prefer to go with a system where uh, it seemed that the uh, upgrade path was a little more friendly and also I, I don't know I've had a few friends who had Windows 10 and uh, their their force updates uh, became kind of a uh, like like almost problematic where they would step in like in the in the middle of uh, streaming a movie or playing a game and all of a sudden the uh, update feature would be nagging you and so yeah you can put it on a 30-day pause and that's a nice feature that they included it's 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 good that they have that in Windows but um, I wish that there was a little bit more control over the update process and I found Linux Ubuntu seemed to have what I wanted with that so uh, I decided to go with Ubuntu in, in the process I, I uh, decided not to uh, you know my my Windows 7 machine I decided to keep it uh, it's got a lot of my programs my apps other stuff that I like to use it'll continue to run all those just fine um, it's just with the browsers and different things I try I try linking in I, I do I do a lot of uh, surfing and stuff like that and uh, it, it uh, is kind of a, an important piece in my operating system so because the browsers are beginning not to support Windows 7 I decided uh, at this point it would be okay to step up to a new operating system and so that's why I'm making this series of videos uh, of, uh, of my discovery process of setting up a new PC and uh, putting Ubuntu on it and such and so you'll see subsequent videos I've already got uh, 
uh, the hardware video is out and then I will be working on uh, putting in the operating system Ubuntu and the things you have to do for that um, it's going to take me a little while I've got to get um, I've got to find a machine to do this so I can make a good presentation um, so this will be coming out soon so anyway I got a, a question of you know they wanted more detail of, of why because the browser wasn't going to support Windows 7 anymore why I was doing this so I thought I would put a a subsequent video here and explain so that should uh, hopefully that gives you the detail you want and um, and that should be it so have a good day and take care